Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be doing my October 2020 YouTube shout outs. As always, there will be 10 channels, they are all linked down below, and I encourage you to go through and check them out, and maybe even to subscribe to them if they take your fancy. Let's get started. So at number one, we have Al from Big Hard Books and Classics. I recently did a video with him actually, where we made some music together. We did uh, Maggie's Farm by Bob Dylan. So that was a lot of fun. He's been running um, a booktube talent show. We're also currently buddy reading Hyperion as well. Fascinating guy, um, he sort of spends a lot of time in Portland, Oregon as well, which is somewhere I've always been kind of interested in and obviously never visited. I've never been to the States at all. Uh, so one day hopefully I'll get to go and visit and go to the awesome uh, vegan pizza place that's near where he lives. But yeah, as you can tell, I quite like his videos because, you, can, you know, you, you get to see a bit of the world as well. He takes you around with him. Next up we have Marianne Moronsky, um, uh, she's been a good friend of mine for a little while now. Um, I, I mean I remember back in the day before she joined BookTube because she was just a sort of a regular viewer for quite a long time and um, eventually she sort of went ahead and got started and uh, I'm glad she did because I think she's a really great addition to the community. Um, yeah so definitely go and show Mary some love. Uh, she reads quite a wide variety of stuff and um, she's just always generally you know supportive and active in community stuff as well so uh, very cool. Up next we have Spooky Noodles. Uh, I can't say too much about this channel because I only recently discovered them. Um, I found them because they're being published in an uh, anthology that I'm also being published in which is uh, run by Regina at Regina's Haunted Library. And um, yeah, it's called uh, Local Haunts and it's going to be out towards the end of October. So um, yeah, Spooky Noodles um, seems to have like one of the closer tasting books to me out, out of the other authors. Um, I've, I've sort of gone through and subscribed to them all and uh, some, of, some of them I was already aware of and uh, I've been shouting out for a while so but yeah Spooky Noodles is one of the new ones and uh, I'm looking forward to consuming more of their content. Then we have Joel Swagman so I've been watching Joel for a while now he does really fantastic reviews he actually does uh, scripted reviews because I think he used to run a book blog back in the day and so he sort of just kind of re reads out his reviews and then adds a bit of extra commentary to them. Um, not all of his reviews are like that obviously all of his more uh, recent ones are um, I suppose just design video first but even the scripted reviews work out really well he's a very insightful reader and he reads quite a wide range of different stuff so um, it's a great channel to go for if you're like looking for some sort of new suggestions really Alright, then we have Regina's Haunted Library, uh, so as you can tell from her, her channel, she's I suppose more horror focused, although again she does read fairly widely, she's uh, a booktuber slash author tuber, and um, so she's kind of behind this local haunts anthology thing, and um, I don't know, I have a lot of respect for uh, any booktuber or author tuber really who kind of participates in community stuff, and uh, I think Regina deserves like major props for just creating this anthology, uh, I think it's... Uh, one of the cooler community projects I've seen in recent years. Probably like the only thing I can think of that really that even compares with it is um, A.G. McDonald when he was doing his uh, animated series that he was writing and he got a bunch of booktubers to voice it which was really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to re reading it when it comes out. Then we have It's Mikey's Mind. So Mikey is also going to be in the anthology. Uh, I've shouted out Mikey a few times before and I've been watching this channel for you know a good few years now uh, he's another one who does a lot of really interesting reviews i think he's at the moment might be working on one of those like 100 books to read before you die or something like that i, I can't quite remember i didn't even know that mikey was an author so it's really cool that he's going to be published in there uh, alongside me and uh, really looking forward to reading his story and just watching more of his videos then we have Sean the Book Maniac. Um, Sean, <laughs> uh, he commented on one of my videos recently because I gave him a shout out about six months ago and he'd like missed it and he was like, oh, so sorry, like, uh, you know, I didn't spot this. So I thought I'd give him another shout out because it's about time. He uh, has a great channel. Um, yeah, he reads quite a weird variety of stuff as well. Sean's uh, t channel is definitely one, I suppose, like more on the like literary fiction side of things, but um, he's quite selective and he knows what he likes. and. Um, we don't always overlap in terms of our tastes, but uh, I definitely, I can't think of anybody else with like, as, uh, you know, the same taste as Sean. He, um, he really has quite this eclectic, but quite focused taste, and so it's always interesting to see what he comes up with and what books he's reading. Then we have Missy from Binge Reader. She's one of the first booktube channels I started watching 
years and years and years ago. Um, and recently, actually, she read um, the first two books in my Lightfold series and, and enjoyed those. So we ran a giveaway on her channel, which was a lot of fun. Because, again, it was like coming back full circle to me. I mean, I used to watch her channel uh, in my first ever job after university. So we're talking, that was between 2011 and 2013. So she's been, you know, she's been a booktuber for a while now. And she's just such a positive energy and such a positive person as well. Um, reads a lot of Stephen King and, like, Joe Hill and all that kind of stuff. So she has great taste. And uh, overall, just definitely a channel to, to watch. And finally, we have Mindy from Mindy's Book Journey. Mindy's great, and I've been a, f a fan of hers for quite a while now. Uh, I think she got married this year, which is all very cool. Um, but yeah, she's just, again, just another one of these really nice people. She's either married or engaged, I can't remember which one. Um, she reads quite a lot of horror as well, actually. Um, and so, yeah, she's just the kind of, I don't know, She's just kind of got that vibe which uh, I love about booktubers when they're so sort of chill and laid back. You feel as though you've been friends for years with them and she has great taste in books to boot. So there we have it. Those are my 10 booktuber shout outs for the month of October 2020. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments some of the channels you've been enjoying recently. Hit that like button on this video if you've enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to myself and to any of these channels that take your fancy. Uh, and I will be back soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.